it's something we didn't want to have to talk about, but we do. The Astros are in unfamiliar territory heading into tomorrow's big game three of the all Texas American League Championship Series. Another loss yesterday in game two has them down two games to none as the series shifts to Arlington. Well, CW39 Houston Seth Kovar joins us now live outside of Minute Maid Park. So Seth, a valiant comeback effort just came back a little short yesterday. Just short, I tell you, the Rangers jumped out to a 4 nothing lead in the top of the first innings in game one, game two rather of the American League Championship Series here at Minute Maid Park yesterday afternoon. But those Astros kept fighting and chipping away at that lead. It looked like at one point they were definitely going to complete the comeback. It made for a very dramatic contest yesterday. Let's go ahead and get straight to the highlights. There were plenty from both sides, but we'll steer clear of those Rangers highlights and show you the Astros ones. Jordan Alvarez is reportedly dealing with a virus, but you wouldn't know it by his at bats yesterday. This is the first of his two home runs, a no doubter upper decker in the second inning that cut the Rangers lead to four to one. Now Texas got that run back, but it was Alex Bregman's turn to hit a long ball in the fourth. His shot clanged off the left field foul pole and that cut the deficit to three again, five to two. After Alvarez scored on a Michael Brantley double in the sixth to cut the Rangers lead to two, he homered again in the eighth, making it just a one run game. And that was a laser beam 111 miles per hour off the bat. Texas put in their closer, Jose Leclerc at that point in hopes of getting a four out save. He walked the first two batters he faced, putting the tying run at second base, but he escaped the jam by getting Chaz McCormick to ground into a fielder's choice. Then in the ninth, both Jeremy Pena and Jose Altuve hit long, potentially game tying fly balls that fell into Rangers gloves. The Astros lost five to four, but manager Dusty Baker saw some bright spots out there. Bullpen did an outstanding job and uh, you know, we just couldn't push across that that, that tie and, and winning run. And, um, you know, your Don, you know, he had a great game. And, um, you know, we just came up short. He mentioned the outstanding job that his bullpen did. Five Astros relievers combined for six and a third scoreless innings after starter Framber Valdez gave up all five Ranger runs, earning him the loss. Well, today is a day off in the best of seven ALCS. Game three is tomorrow night at the Rangers home park, Globe Life Field, or the Gilf to some up in Arlington. First pitch is set for 7.03, and it's the same start time for game four Thursday night, also in Arlington, with game five scheduled there Friday afternoon. Now, there will be a game five if the Astros win tomorrow or Thursday or both days to make game five necessary. Now, if Houston can pull off two or more wins in Arlington, the series comes back here to Minute Maid Park for games six and, if necessary, game seven on Sunday and Monday. And Astros fans, there's, of course, lots of reasons not to be panicking right now. Remember, the Astros actually had a losing record in the regular season here at Minute Maid Park at home this season. This is a road team. They were 21 games over 500 on the road in the the next three are indeed away in Arlington. You can expect this series to come back here for game six and maybe seven even at Minute Maid Park. Back to you guys. I'm just saying remove the if necessary. Just say necessary. It's going to happen. Put it into the universe. It's going to happen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It wouldn't be a series if we didn't push it to seven, right, Seth? First. Oh, for sure. <laughs> All right. You called for five yesterday. Uh, you, yes, that's true. Sir, uh -oh. there is no record of me saying that anywhere. On air. <laughs> We're at 702. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Thanks so much, Seth.